This quick guide video provides an overview of setting up and interpreting DPOAE pass refer and stop criteria. An OAE measurement will only pass in the software if a measured OAE reaches a set of criteria. The OAE criteria can be changed in two ways, either temporarily using the temporary settings button or permanently by creating a new protocol. This video quick guide will focus on temporarily changing the criteria. The first step is to open the temporary settings tab. A pop-up screen will appear titled test setup. The area of interest for this video is the box titled common test settings. In this box there are four tabs that can be accessed. Let's firstly look at stop criteria. The stop criteria tab allows you to specify when the measurement stops. When running loops is selected the maximum test time option is available. Here you can define how long the total DP gram test may take until it stops automatically by using the slider. A maximum point time can be set when running loops is unchecked. In this instance each test point will only be tested once for a set point time before it times out, unless of course it meets the stop criteria prior. Selecting Include DP Criteria as Stop Criteria results in the system measuring a specific point for no longer than needed to meet the DP criteria as set out on the next tab. Selecting Include Residual Noise as the Stop Criterion causes the system to stop testing at an intensity for which the residual noise has reached its indicated residual noise floor. The measurement at this specific intensity is considered to be so silent that a DPOAE would have been detected if it were present. Next we move to the DP criteria tab. Under this tab, both pass and stop criteria are defined for each individual added frequency point. A table exists with five columns. The first column displays the frequency at which the criteria is set to. DP level is the minimum level in dB sound pressure level that an OAE must be measured at for it to meet the stop criteria. SNR is the minimum signal to noise ratio that must be reached to meet the stop criteria. The signal to noise ratio in dB is the difference between the dP OAE level and the residual noise. dP tolerance defines how stable the OAE must be over time in order for it to meet the stop criteria. Residual noise allows you to define at which level the residual noise is considered to be so silent that a DP OAE would have been detected if it were present. Required for pass is when you define which measurement points are mandatory to reach a pass when enable pass refer is checked for an overall result. The DP reliability tab indicates and allows you to set how reliable the DP measurement must be in order to allow the system to accept the measurement as a true DP OAE. Basically, the OAE is compared to the noise surrounding it and the reliability represents the chance that the OAE is indeed not part of the noise. To save these settings for the session, press the OK button. Once the DP gram has been measured using Titan, you can interpret the OAE by using the DP gram or the points summary table. The point summary displays OAE data numerically. The detected column will display a check mark if the pass criteria are reached. If a check does not appear in this column, then the pass criteria has not been reached. The table can then be examined to identify which criterion or criteria it failed to reach. The DP gram displays the OAE data graphically and shows the minimum DP level as well as a signal to noise ratio. A green check will appear above each frequency if the pass criteria are met. If this does not appear then hovering over the point will show the numerical data associated with the point. At the bottom of this information the failure reason is mentioned. This concludes this quick guide video on setting up and interpreting DP OAE pass, refer and stop criteria.